morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Ingrown Toenail Removal! After I played the nose job surgery game, people kept sending me links to this telling me to play this, that other people played it and it was just as disgusting as the other one. So again, warning, if you're squeamish to this stuff, do not watch this video. I have to play this for just for society, just so people know what's out there. Just so you know how bad ingrown toenails are. I almost had this before. I almost had an ingrown toenail on my foot before because I was wearing shoes that weren't the right size for me. And well, I'm fine now. But this kind of stuff, I always had to get ingrown toenail surgery, thankfully I didn't, and it looks disgusting. I hope that it's not as bad as the other one. Because it's a toe, it doesn't make me feel as bad, no surgery made me feel really bad. And there's some other surgeries as well, if this, I, I don't imagine this being very long, so I might go off and play the laser eye surgery one as well, that's another one that's in this. Which probably is disgusting too. Also, I know a lot of people don't like these kind of games because they're just like there's not a whole lot goes on to them. A lot of people think there's no substance to them, but let's face it, they're fun in their own way. They're entertaining enough, and I like to play lots of different kind of games. I'm not just going to stick to like the Far Cry 4s and the GTAs and those kind of things or indie games or anything like that. Browser games, flash games, indie games, AAA games. Everything needs to be played. It brings the channel forward. It diversifies everything. So you get to see different things. Plus, you guys can just go off and play this yourselves. You guys can go just in your browser right now and play it if you want. There's gonna be links in the description. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Am I cool now? Is this what the cool people wear? These are my glasses for like when I'm editing, so my eyes don't get tired. Aren't they so weird looking? <laughs> I look like I'm going clay pigeon shooting. Oh, no time for that. We are about to start Surgery Squad. Hello, and welcome to Hi. Surgery Squad's virtual ingrown toenail removal. Thanks. I'm Dr. Jeff, Hi, and Jeff. I'll be guiding you through this procedure today. My name's Jeff. <laughs> An ingrown toenail happens when the edge of the toenail grows down and into the flesh of the toe. Ooh. When this occurs, there is usually a moderate amount of pain, redness, and swelling around the toenail. No! Ah! An ingrown toenail is usually caused when extra pressure is applied to the See, toe due to shoes. shoes that are too tight or too loose. Improperly trimmed toenails... Foot or toe deformities, Why did you have to show injuries, me like an actual and fungal toe? issues can also be contributing factors. I just want to see a cartoon toe! There are some ways to treat an ingrown toenail at home to relieve some of the pain. Okay, listen. But remember that you should never attempt to remove an ingrown toenail yourself. If you're a diabetic Probably, yeah. and have an ingrown toenail, it is recommended that you go to the doctor immediately. Okay. Now that you understand the causes of an ingrown toenail, let's put on our gloves and remove one. It's fucking gloves are on! Our patient is ready. This is what I so wanted to see. So let's begin by disinfecting the toe. Disinfecting? But I'm Jacksepticeye! Antiseptic disinfecting stuff is not good for me. Click and- oh, we got a thing. Dr. Jeff's iodine? Oh look! I'm gonna paint your whole foot! <laughs> your whole foot! I'm gonna give you like an iodine foot. Here we go. <laughs> you look like you've jaundice or something. <laughs> All done! Nice! Perfect! Are we done? Now, we need to numb the toe with a local anesthetic. Oh no! We'll have oh, to needles. inject the anesthetic in several locations around the toe. Ooh, ooh needles! Can I- can I disinfect your other toes? Oh god, I'm spitting everywhere. <laughs> disinfect his other toes! Oh, I can't do it! Oh, I hate needles! I hate needles! It's one of the reasons I hate going to the dentist. Ah, no! Oh, there's blood and everything! Oh, this one's gotta be gross. Oh, that's the- well, you won't feel that one. That one's all the infected shit. Oh my god. Don't do it. Ah, oh, my, my poor little toes! Great. Now my toes we'll are all curled up in my shoes right now. To get numb. Five minutes later! It's like, whenever I do like my transitions in some videos, it's like the little- little inferno music. Now that our patient's toe is numb, place the special tourniquet around the toe. Okay. This will help reduce the amount of blood coming from the wound. Put, put it around the Once toe. Once you've done put. that, we can move- There you go! I did it! Shut up! It's not hard! Put on First, a tourniquet! First, carefully slide one blade of the nail anvil under the affected nail. Oh no! Do I have to like cut his whole nail off? That's not good! Oh, I had a friend back in school who, like, his- he got hit on his thumb, and it, like, split the nail in half, and his whole thumbnail fell off. It was so disgusting! I almost vomited in his face! We're going to no. go down the nail until we feel a little bit of resistance. Our patient's going to feel some pressure as we cut away the ingrown nail. I'm sure he's gonna feel a lot of fucking pressure! From his family and everything! They go to college as well, because that's what they do. Oh god. Oh no! Oh! The sound! Ah! <laughs> No, it's got inside his toe! 
Oh, my Great. fucking Jesus. Take the forceps and carefully remove the ingrown nail. I don't want to. I don't want to. Take it back. Take it away. Take it. Oh, my fucking. Oh, the little strings and stuff. It's getting kind of <laughs> messy in there. Let's clean up that blood. Oh, no, shit. It's getting so fucking messy. Oh, God. See that small bit of pale yellow substance right there? It looks like the patient has a bit of infection in the toe. Oh, God. Firmly squeeze the edge of the toe to get as much of that infection out as you can. Okay, get ready for this. Get ready for this. This is going to be gross. <laughs> I told you. Ooh, Jesus. That toe is starting to look much better. Oh, but sure it is. <laughs> Next, we're going to apply some phenyl acid to the wound. This Acid. will help ensure that the problem of ingrowth will not reoccur in this toe. All I know is acid's bad. Acid burns When you're shit. done inserting the acid, I'll remove the tourniquet and we'll finish up. Oh my holy god. Is that nail going to grow back? Oh god. Finish by applying some antibiotic ointment. There we go. Ah, oh, nice. Nice and squeezy. Place it against the toe. And wrap it in a gauze bandage. I'm not even doing anything anymore. The game's doing it for me. Thank you. <laughs> this isn't even a game. Fantastic job. Great, thanks. Since there was some obvious infection, Drugs! our patient will be sent home with a prescription for some antibiotics. Yes. We'll Good. also need to tell our patient to keep the wound dry. Of course. Clean the wound regularly yes. and replace the bandage two to three times a day. Okay. While our patient's toenail isn't likely to regrow, what? his condition is likely to return if he doesn't take care of his feet. This I'm includes wearing proper fitting shoes, properly trimming his toenails, okay. and keeping his feet clean and dry. Of course. And that's how we remove an ingrown toenail. You did a great job today. Thank you, Jeff. While you're here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries here oh, at SurgerySquad.com. Childbirth with epidural or carpal tunnel. Look at the carpal tunnel one. It's like he's trying to create Spider-Man's web stuff. It's like a big needle going in there. I'm not doing that. Oh, no. That was gross. I didn't know that, like, when they chopped off your nail, I didn't know that it wouldn't regrow. Did you see that? It's just like a piece of skin over the side of his toe. That was disgusting. Also, yes, I know a lot of people are going to be like, Jack, if you hate these kind of games, why are you playing them? Again, they're fun in their own way. They're entertaining, I think. <laughs> that was awesome. My name, Jeff. <laughs> oh, this looks great. Surgery Squad. I like how it's like a superhero team. Welcome to Surgery Squad's Hi. virtual LASIK Your name eye is surgery. Anna. I am Dr. Susie. Susie! I'll be guiding you through a LASIK eye procedure today. Yay! LASIK eye surgery reshapes the cornea to provide improved focusing power and reduce a patient's need for glasses or contact lenses. I did not know that. LASIK is performed with a special laser that's used to change the shape of the cornea. Laser assisted The part of the eye situ. that controls and focuses the entry of light. By doing so, we can focus the light so that the patient's vision is improved. I did Our not know that. Our patient's already had her preliminary exam. Her prescription hasn't changed for more than a year. Okay. And she has no history of eye disease or injury. Good. That's great. That's this great qualifies point. her as a perfect candidate for the surgery. Yeah. We want to make this procedure <laughs> as pain-free oh, as guys. possible. <laughs> so we'll use drops to numb the eye. Can you place a few drops into her eyes? There are drops that numb your eyeballs? This is going to give me nightmares. I'm learning lots of stuff, though. Like, I didn't know... The laser eye surgery. Like, the first one, I didn't know that I the toenail didn't grow back. And laser eye surgery, I didn't know that it, like, reshaped stuff. Actually, I don't know what I thought it did. I thought it, like, burned something on the retina or something. Or, like, joined synapses. I don't know. Synapses are in your brain. <laughs> I, I, this is interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know there were drops that numb your eyeballs Even either. Even with the numbing drops, it's possible that the patient can feel pressure oh, and mild discomfort. No. But they do help with most or all the pain. Okay. Debris can complicate the procedure. So we need to make sure that the area around the eye is clean. I didn't do that. Now that the area <laughs> around the eye is clean, we'll use a device called a speculum to hold the eyelid open wide. Okay. So let's get that speculum over the eye. Oh, speculum is also what you use to hold your vagina open. <laughs> well, during childbirth and shit like that, or like gynecology If exams. the patient was allowed to blink, we might cut or burn the wrong oh, area. Oh, no, don't say At that. At this point, we'll also mark the cornea with a water-soluble ink to guide replacement of the flap. This is Now we weird. place a suction ring over the eye. 
The suction ring! I'm actually learning stuff from this. This is crazy. I didn't know that this is how it went. I'm so not playing anything got to do with dentistry, though. Any dentist, like, things. The ring sucks the cornea upward, mm. making it easier to cut. You freaking The patient's bastards. vision will likely dim and blur while the suction ring is attached. For this next step, we're going to slice open a flap on the cornea. No! To make the corneal flap, we use a mechanical microkeratome. Oh this my is God. a fancy name for a blade device that's attached to the suction ring. Oh my God, we slide no. it across and it cuts the top 20% of the cornea. Here we go. Slide the microkeratome <laughs> along the track to create a thin flap in the cornea. Susie, I don't like your tone. Here we go. Let's just slice this person's eyeball open. Do you guys ever play Dead Space 2? There was a, a section near the end of that game. Spoiler, that you had to like stick a needle in Isaac's eye. And it was so gross. When that happened, I just went... It was like I sucked 20 lemons at the time. Okay, hold on to your asses. Shit's about to get real. Oh my god. Am I doing it? Did I, did I do it? I don't think I did it. What? Oh, I'm so, I'm so, oh no. Oh, it's all gelatinous. <laughs> With the corneal flap cut, we remove the microkeratome and suction ring and then peel back the corneal flap to expose the middle part of the cornea. They're like... Peeling back bits of your eye! Eyes are fascinating things. Eyeballs are absolutely incredible. If you, like, learn stuff about eyeballs, they're pretty crazy. Damn, am I doing it? I don't think I'm doing it. It's not working. Come on, game. This is the part we'll reshape with a laser. Oh, God. The computer-controlled laser is positioned over the eye. <laughs> Surgery squad, By analyzing our patient's <laughs> data, we've pre-programmed the laser to tell it how much corneal tissue to remove. Okay. A flip of the switch to fire up the laser, and the reshaping process is underway. Ooh. Pulses from the laser will correct the shape of the cornea in less than 60 seconds. Amazing! The laser makes a slight clicking sound, and you might notice a faint smell similar of burning hair. Oh, Jesus! And that's it. Please fold the corneal flap back into the original position. Nicely done. Thank you, Susie! While you were working, I went ahead and took care of the other eye. We will observe our patient for several minutes to assure the corneas bond correctly. You wait! The cornea is quite amazing in this respect. It will be bonded back to each eye in moments. Really? Even with the corneal flap bonded back in place, the cornea is still vulnerable and could dislodge if the patient isn't careful. Oh, no! That's why we put a clear protective shield over <laughs> each eye. Looking good! This keeps the patient from bumping or rubbing her eyes. The patient will notice the improved vision immediately, That's or awesome. as soon as the numbing drops wear off. She may now be driven home, e as she won't be able to drive for a day or two. -E 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 She'll come back within the next 48 hours so we can remove the eye shields, test nice. her vision, and examine her eyes to make sure everything is healing up nicely. Awesome! And there you have it, another successful surgery. I am the best! You can see more of my superior surgical technique and my other procedures here on SurgerySquad.com. Virtual mastectomy? Isn't that where you like move so remove someone's breast? I'm not doing that. Oh god, no. That is disgusting. But I did learn a lot. I actually didn't know that that's what they did during laser surgery. So hopefully you guys are at home or learning. Jack Septicai, teaching people how eyeballs are reshaped since 2015. Woo! That does it for this video on surgeries to make your stomach rumble and crawl and make you vomit all over the floor. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna play any more of them, there's not a whole lot to them. Um, you just get in, you kind of watch stuff. Again, I was learning stuff, but for the sake of YouTube, I don't know if I'm gonna do any more. You guys let me know. You guys let me know if you want to see more of them, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face, like a boss, and high fives all around. But thank you guys, now we see all your dudes. Oh, I hate it! I fucking hate it! Do we have a timer? Ashley's nose is bleeding heavily. Well, no shit, I just cut it open. Pick up the cauterizer. Oh, God. Oh, God, the cauterizer, like, burn. Check my eyes, make sure they're okay. Yeah, my corneas aren't peeling off.